Hey guys, I uh, wanted to do a bit of a post-convention update video following uh, Anime Expo and Comic-Con. Uh, do admit it's been a little while and I first and foremost want to apologize for the lack of content that came out uh, in July. Um, fortunately, just because of how the scheduling played out, um, obviously we didn't get any review videos. Um, also because various reasons I haven't been streaming, um, combination of just work, school, conventions, and just a little bit of everything coupled with just a little bit of, I guess you could call it burnout. So I'm hoping to get back on the saddle there. Um, probably the biggest hindrance as far as uh, some of the build streams has been uh, getting the Gansalot painted as that's just ended up taking a lot longer than I ever thought it would. Um, so that's issue there. Uh, as far as game streams go, I just, as I said, just I haven't been the right spot to do it. Also, it didn't help that for a good number of weeks I had a really nasty head cold that just stuck around in my sinuses. So I just sound nasally running and just I felt like crap for a good chunk of time. So I'm hoping to uh, get back into doing those. Don't have any timeline as to when. Doubly so now that um, some stuff's going to be changing with school. Um, previously, I was doing things uh, part 141, which for those of you who don't know exactly what that means, it basically means you're doing your flight training under basically under a more structured and supervised school type setting. You have an actual quote syllabus to follow. Um, after talking with my instructor though, because um, of where I am in terms of our amount, it actually makes more sense for me to do things uh, part 61, which is less supervised, less um, controlled as it were and typically requires higher hour numbers. Specifically, you need a total time of 250 hours. But because of various reasons, and it's taken me so long now at the point where it's going to make more sense for me to do things that way, as I'm right now at right just shy of 200 hours at this time of recording this. So it would basically save me about 50 hours, which translates into a pretty significant amount of money saved and more importantly, time saved. Uh, unfortunately, I did just get memo back from saying we're still going to have to somewhat follow the syllabus as far as some of the stuff, but overall it will get me done sooner. Problem is, now I think I need to do a little more uh, message tag with them just to make sure we're doing sort of more playing things out, i.e., you know, Measure twice, cut once. So that's sort of where we are with that. Um, I do hope to similarly get some more flying videos done as we haven't done anything there in a while uh, for a multitude of reasons. Um, so that's where we are with that. Um, like I said, trying to get this Gansalot done as I do need to move on to project for uh, SoCal Gundam. And I know that's going to take a little bit of time, but catch 22 there. Since with the Gansalot's taking a lot longer, it's giving me more time to think. And I think that's going to help uh, pay some dividends down the road in that we'll be able to get the next project done a little more smartly and efficiently. And we can go from there. So that's where we're there. Um, hoping to do some more game streaming. Uh, again, that's going to potentially interfere with some of the flying stuff. We'll see what happens. You know, a lot of stuff's up in the air. That's, again, it's partially why content's been light last month. So that's where we are with all of that. So let's get into the meat of this video and talk uh, cons. So first up last month was Anime Expo. Um, this year, I'd said to... Uh, go up for the quote the quote preview night um 
really it was just the entertainment hall open, which I did find a little disappointing. Um, to me, at least, granted, this is coming from the vantage point of having been to Comic-Con and their preview night, it would have been nice had they opened up the entirety of the exhibit hall for people to uh, wander around. You know, effectively, you know, do Anime Expo's version of Comic-Con's preview night. That's sort of the mindset I had. Also, when I bought the tickets um, last year, uh, the previous few years, they had some other special ticketed events that night. Um, fortunately, the one time I decided to go, they moved them to other days. So, so it, it was overall, it was an okay night. Um, definitely, it would have been better had been able to explore some of the other areas. Did do some other fun stuff there. Um, but yeah, so that moves us then into day one and you would have thought by this point they'd had their act together, but they fucked it up again. They had, it. they keep managing to fuck things up with the lines. I don't know how they keep doing it. I don't know if it's just flat out incompetence, lack of no proper supervision or what but day one they had the lines all fucked to hell they had lines going nowhere lines wrapping around into themselves ended up spending three hours in line trying to get into the building you couple this with their security stuff and it it, it was a nightmare it was an absolute nightmare and this is something I've been saying for a while. They've gotten too big to be volunteer run. They need to be professionally run at this point. They're just too big. They have too many people and just they need better organization, better staffing, and just you know, better everything in that regard. So day one, it was just... It was a grade A shit show as far as, you know, organization trying to get in. Thankfully, I was only in line for three hours. Some people, to look at, tw follow on Twitter and whatnot, spent five or six hours in line. And, you know, I, I feel for those people who only had one day passes as they, they got ripped off. Pure and simple. They absolutely got ripped off. And had it been me, I had been shouting and demanding money back. Or I'd be calling my credit card company and, you know, seeing what I could do that way. Because, yeah, that, you know, you pay for an item or an event, you expect to actually be able to go to, enjoy, or use said item or event. So that was absolutely ridiculous. And I, I sincerely hope they that it doesn't happen again next year. Because, yeah, it, it's unexcusable at this point. So, obviously, got through that. Um, got in, finally, you know, explored around the exhibit hall. Picked up a couple of things. Um, and, overall, it was an okay time. Um, don't recall any panels I went to that day or night. Somewhat, personally, because by that point, I was just... Exhausted and, you know, given what happened the year before, I I didn't want to overdo it, especially on the first day. And that overall it was sort of a lingering shadow over the entire uh, con this year. It's just, yeah, if you aren't aware, you know, check out one of the previous vlogs. I, I do discuss it. it just, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> that's just... <clears throat> so yeah, that was lingering. Um, overall though, they did progress. Things started to get a little bit better and a little bit better as it went. So that day two, um, did check out a few panels. Checked out the PG Gundam panel and I, use PG as in um, 
as opposed to the hard R <laughs> version that came the next day. <laughs> but um, yeah, overall day two was day two was uneventful in the sense that yeah, nothing really happened. But at the same time, nothing outstandingly good, but not outstanding bad. It was more or less sort of I guess you could say forgettable. So, uh, day three. <sighs> uh, forgive me. I do wish I had shot these segments the day of. You know, that might, might be something I'll do, consider doing next year, depending on how things play out next year. Uh, day three, a um, few more panels. Was really th thankful I was able to get into the Nicker Power analyze that <laughs> that was one of those high demand panels as you had a lot of people there and it was a fun panel uh, i will not lie um did that um did some more wandering around the convention uh did get a decent amount of photos up to that point as well wish i could have gotten some more um 